Google Firebase AI Studio. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the AI gold rush has begun. But is this tool a complete waste of time or will it help you make money? In today's video, that's what we're gonna go through. I'm gonna show you the truth about this new tool because in today's day and age, the AI coding world is exploding faster than ever before. New tools are coming out each and every day promising to help us make money create code and build applications, and even create the next big startup without any coding skills. But what's the actual reality? Can anyone become a coder and make hundreds of thousands of dollars a year from the comfort of their own home? Can you use AI coding to bootstrap your way to the next big startup? And more importantly, how can you use these tools to actually make a living? Well, you're in luck. Smash a like button, because today we're diving in to the Google Firebase Studio. We're gonna show you live examples of how you can use AI coding to make money online. I'm gonna show you exactly how to enter the AI gold rush super fast. Plus, we're gonna be diving in to the Google Firebase Studio and showing you exactly how it works, the pitfalls, the promises, the possibilities, and how you can make money online. Come on, let's dive in. All right, let's check this out. First of all, in order to get to the Firebase Studio, you just go to firebase.google.com. You can sign up, usually sign in with your regular Google account. It's free for the most part. There are some billing things that we need to talk about in just a minute, but for the most part, to do most things is actually free of charge. I did see that in some instances you needed a Google Gemini API, which you can get in your settings from Google Gemini. If you don't know how to find that, it'll help you find it or it'll generate its own. It's actually very easy. Now, what I wanted to do is I wanted to see if this code out of the box, or program rather, out of the box could create codes that we can put on our website. Much like the one that I created in previous videos for talksober.com, which actually has a little sobriety calculator here, which you could see apparently this person's been sober for almost a thousand years. So this is a little tool that we created that made the cup and made the tracker and everything like that. And it actually went through and it'll create new sobriety dates and stuff like that. This was a tool that we created in ChatGPT and it was actually pretty easy. It did say, take some tweaking. I did have to have my programmer help me with it, but all in all, we were able to make it work out of the box pretty good. Just a couple of tweaks that I had the programmer do, which was no more than 30 minutes. Now, what we wanna know is can we create something in Firebase Studio right out of the box and actually make it work in a simple way? Because if we can, then we can tap into a multi-billion dollar industry, probably a trillion dollar industry if you calculate everything. This is like an AI gold rush if you use it properly. Now, some tools we've looked at here on the channel like Bolt AI, um, Gemini Coder, and several others are actually really good at this. So we're gonna put this to the test and see if it will as well. Now, what I wanted to do at the get-go is I wanted to talk to you about the demand for these types of tools. Making simple tools, apps, and startup softwares and things like that is a huge business. As you can see here, I put several different keywords into our Ahrefs keyword tool to show you some of the things people look up that are related to tools that you can make that'll make money. Now, again, remember, this is a business. It's not a guarantee. We don't know what you're gonna make. Some markets, people are making $10 million a year. The vast majority of people trying to make money make nothing. Now, take this with a grain of salt and look at it objectively. If we were to go through and look at something like schedule, there are lots of different scheduler apps that people create that do really well. Like we can see here, maybe there's an NFL scheduler or scheduling a text. Actually, it looks like scheduling a text is a huge demand. This is pretty cool. So you could do an app for scheduling a text or something like that. Pretty cool. We can also see several other things, uh, sleep schedule, you can see design, create, analyze, review, remove, different things like this tell us things people want, like translate um, and, and stuff like that. Lots of different things you can do from coding to balance or even calculate is a good one if you were gonna do calculate or calculate or you could see like mortgage calculators you can see all kinds of stuff like that you can also go through and see there's lots of wordpress plugins that people create with code so what i wanted to do is dive into firebase and see is this going to be able to do stuff i started by doing a daily sober uh tracker 
to see if I can create what I did over there. Now, so far it looks like it didn't really have any input. Maybe I could put in my input here. Let's say I got sober on Thursday, nine days sober, fantastic work on reaching nine days, cool. Maybe we could even go through and do like a year sober or something like that. 338, fantastic on 338, that's pretty cool. So it looks like reach 30 days, reach this. I don't know if it actually has the caching. That was something that I had over here that was important, was the ability to have it remember on each time they come in. Like I come back again, boom, it's gonna remember it. Does this remember it? I'm not really seeing that in the function. It's not really on our, on our server yet, so I'm not sure. We might be able to publish it and see how it works there. But I did see that this was actually pretty buggy. There was a lot of errors. There was a lot of workarounds. And for the vast majority of people out there, it's really complicated. This is one where I would need my programmer to help me out. Even with this simple sobriety calculator that we knocked out of the part in ChatGPT, Google Firebase, I'm not really seeing it. If I knew coding, if I was like the king, of coding, then I could probably do it. But for someone doing a startup, someone looking to start something out of the get-go, I'm gonna say no, waste of time. Now, I can also see Firebase Project. It's actually asking me for billing. Okay, so, so let's see what that looks like because I actually see they have billing plans based on what you're doing. So we can see app hosting. We're seeing that it, it is based on the amount you're hosting. These are probably gonna be in the pennies range. But nonetheless, it is actually charging us, and it's not on our own server. There's probably an option for that, but again, this is pretty complicated. Now, we're also seeing like cloud storage. Obviously, that's going to change the price, different things like that. Not a big fan of this. Like This is looking kind of crazy. However, there is a no-cost Spark plan, which you can use as well. Now, as far as ease of use for someone who doesn't know coding, I'm going to give it a one. Why? Because this is using React. It's using um, JS code, which a lot of people, we don't know how to work with that. Like, I don't know how to work with it. I've been doing this for a long time. Programmers probably laugh at me because they know, but I don't. So as a vibe coder, as someone wanting to make a living, I'm going to say it's pretty difficult. Now, I did also try to create a WordPress plugin. I thought, okay, well, maybe I can have it just create the WordPress plugin out of the gate and bada bing, bada bang, here we go. Okay, it didn't do it. It actually made a little app that had nothing to do with WordPress. Maybe it works on the back end of WordPress, but not as a plugin, which I didn't want. So not really digging it there. I'm thinking this is gonna be a program that's good for startup people who have a programmer on staff who can actually go in and create like, like React type stuff, which are more in-depth programs, like Facebook runs on React, other sites run on React, not so much little tools, apps, and things that we can sell. Now, looking at this, we wanna take a look at the value of this market, because if you can learn, this is what I talked about back in the beginning when ChatGPT just came out back in 2022, we had a video that was a banger, it got like 600,000 views within a month, and that one there was all about using ChatGPT to create WordPress plugins. This is something I've done for a long time. I've sold them. I've made multiple seven figures with WordPress plugins. I know lots of people who have made lots of money with little tools and plugins much like this. So going through and being able to create stuff with a tool it, like, like the Google Firebase program is a game changer. However, Firebase isn't really cutting it for me. So I'm thinking for most entrepreneurs and people that want to do vibe coding, unless you're building something big and you know what you're doing and you have a place to develop it, that will work. Most people are on a shared hosting account, which these tools won't work on, right? So we got to look at that. If you're on a shared hosting, you know, there's going to be a big thing. So let's take a look at this line by line. Again, the coding aspect, I think, I mean, it's Google. So as time goes on, it's going to get easier and they'll make an easy version for everyone else because they're trying to keep up. To me, it looks like a slap job. It looks like they tried to put this up really quick to meet demand and it's not really cutting it. So let's take a look. First of all, overall rating so far is at a one. Core functionality, clear purpose and feature set. Yeah, it's clear. 
It'll make big time programs. Does it solve a genuine problem? Yeah, it does definitely solve it. Performance quality and accuracy. For new people, I'm gonna say a one. Processing speed and efficiency, mm, I'm gonna give it a two. Came up with a lot of errors. Notes on core functionality will not convert into popular known web apps. I'm thinking I want one that does PHP. It wouldn't do it. I'm thinking I want one that'll do a quick, simple Java. It won't do it. Let's actually try a new one and see if it'll make a simple calculator. Please make a reverse mortgage calculator for my website in PHP. Let's see if it actually just out of the gate says, no, I can't do PHP or I can't do HTML. Let's see what it'll do here. All right. Okay, so it, it gives the prototype. I like this. So what I'm thinking is if you want to use Firebase free to get a prototype and then give that to another tool to make it, that could work. Also, one of the other things I noticed with this is you can actually go through and you can change and draw what you want. We're seeing a lot of coding tools do this where we could go through and draw an outline of what we want this to look like. Like, oh, I want this form over here. I want this over here. That was something I saw really cool. And it also goes through when you're creating a new app. So it looks like interesting. So three workspace. Now I got to join the developer program. Interesting. So I'm locked at three. That, that's also another thing. And that's what this video is about is showing you, is this a waste of time? Is it good? Is it actually going to help you? Is it worth diving into? If you like these types of videos, type AI tool overview in the comments below. Let me know you like these. I'll make more of these so that you understand what to get into, how it's going to work for you. So this here, again, yeah, we're going to have to do that. I'm seeing it is creating it. Animations for loading and displaying, iconography. Okay, it's TSX again, so that is not PHP. Let's see, convert this to HTML. Let's see if it'll do that. I know that some tools will convert into HTML so we can load it on the page. It looks like it's, it's trying. Okay, so it still has it as .tsx. It didn't do it. So yeah, I think for the vast majority of people, this is probably gonna be a struggle. Switch to code. Okay, so this is where you would go through and draw your prototype if you wanted to draw it, which I like. I mean, it is cool, like it's neat, but again, for the vast majority, I think it's completely gonna be a waste of time. Can it create content? No, it can't. None of these. Uh, applications used for social media, valuable for email, average, no. Research and value, eh, it does do this, the data visualization, um, none of these. So is there a free tool? Yes. Is there a pricing model? It's pay as you go or subscription. Pricing's okay. Again, it's, it has to do with what you get. Like, is this going to help me? Is this a tool I'm going to put in my arsenal starting right away? I don't think so. I don't think this is the juggernaut. I'm going to stick with Bolt. I'm going to stick with knowing very simple things like Gemini, maybe even using things like uh, ChatGPT for code. Looking at these, I think we're going to be better. Even Grok, even Grok is a better coder. So, you know, looking at this, I think it's going to be a rabbit hole until they fix it and make it more easy and more based on what we want. You can see it creates a ton of files here, which is a lot like bolt.new, but bolt.new will convert them if we ask it. So again, I think for the vast majority of people, this is going to be a waste of time. However, looking at this, I want you to get the possibilities because what this is doing is it's bringing more awareness to the fact that AI vibe coding is a real business. AI vibe coding can create different things like calculators, BMI calculators, different types of maybe a zip code calculator to show how long it takes to ship something or how much house can I afford calculator. These kind of things are very, very good and they tie to things that make money. Definitely description to learn more about how I make money with affiliate marketing and little tools like this. Because now that we can create things on the fly very quickly with very little expense, I mean, I'm talking 
the talk sober tool that I made over here, it costs less than $20 to have my programmer fix it and get it ready for prime time. And it was simple. It was like, move the image over, make it fit, stuff like that. Very simple. So starting to understand how this stuff works and what tools to use, I think is the big takeaway here. Being able to go in and create WordPress plugins based on demand and sell them sometimes even same day, sometimes same week, making a startup of something that'll help people I think is a key. Overall, I'm thinking for me and for the vast majority of entrepreneurs, Google Firebase Studio is going to be a rabbit hole that will take your time and not produce the income producing results that you're after. So use it with caution. I would say go back to a simpler tool, focus on very easy things you can do, make a tool based on what people are searching for, make it better. If you see a mortgage calculator, how can I make it better? If I see a background remover tool, how can I make it better? These are the kind of things that we can make and actually use to make money online. So thanks for watching, smash the like button, check out the video I did yesterday on the full affiliate marketing breakdown and how to use AI to make money with affiliate marketing. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.